Uh, Vicki, do you want to uh, read that? Yeah. Yeah. So, so after speaking with one of our constituents earlier today, um, I spent pretty much my whole day going over open space, uh, what's basically from uh, the township code. I also worked my way backwards looking at um, what was kind of passed in the, in the past, what, what happened in the past to bring us to where we're at right now. And I did put out here, it was a newsletter that was handed out in September of 1998. It was basically a newsletter that was sent to the constituents, like a supporting document, to explain why they wanted to pass this referendum. Okay, again, the referendum was passed, I believe, in November of 1998. This was put out in September 1998. So I believe it was sent to all the homes. And if you look on page four, it is double-sided, so it's like the page four of the double-siding. Uh, you can see here where the postal customer one is. You'll see here it says all localities. Now I want to read that to you just so everybody kind of knows what was put out. This was put out by the uh, township supervisor, Ron uh, Savara at the time, and everyone on that board. So just to give you a little idea about what they had put out for the constituents in Homer Township. It was not Homer Glen at that time, it was Homer Township. So uh, just a quote from this, uh, it was volume one, issue three, September 1998 issue, preserve Homer newsletter. All localities are not best suited to park status. Some tracks acquired under the open space program may logically be used for residential or commercial purposes. Our township can, at any time, release, in parentheses, sell parcels, which, which will then be used for the intended purposes. The monies from the sale can be used to purchase other real estate. Thus, an open space program will significantly increase the ability of Homer Township to control land use and development. So that was one of the supporting documents that I think is important to what we're talking about today. The second one is uh, a copy from the Illinois General Assembly website. And anybody can just uh, Google this. It's the Township Code for Open Space. And basically, in the first body, probably the, I would say the third paragraph here, a township, again, repeating kind of what was said here, a township at any time may release a specified parcel of land from an open space plan and allow the development of the parcel to occur, occur. So once again, these are kind of supporting documents which will allow us to take these out of open space.